10 bodies have been found in Humboldt County's waterways. There has definitely been a, a, a rise in uh, water-related uh, recoveries. Six have been identified. A lot of what we do is uh, just good old-fashioned police work, uh, you know, height, weight, uh, body characteristics. Four await DNA results. And water, you, uh, the rate of decomp is accelerated greatly. A lot of times, you know, uh, there will be no teeth, fingerprints uh, are gone, you know, and what is left of the remains, we end up getting DNA samples and sending them off to the DOJ DNA bank. But why the waterways? The coroner assures me foul play is not expected. We have a large transient population in our county. Uh, Unfortunately, our transient population also has a high rate of drug and alcohol abuse. A lot of their camps are uh, located near waterways. We were able to positively say that uh, seven out of the ten uh, definitely had drugs and or alcohol uh, in their system. Of the unattended deaths which the coroner responded to in Humboldt County last year, 49 were drug or alcohol related. That puts substance abuse as the second leading cause of death behind accidents and in front of motor vehicle crashes. Until we start spending uh, more money redirecting funds towards alcohol and drug education and rehabilitation, all our numbers are going to continue to trend upwards. And I'm not talking uh, just about people uh, that, that die from drug overdoses. I'm talking about our crime rates. I'm talking about our suicide rates. All those numbers are intertwined. As for the body found on the beach south of the Eel River Saturday, officers have a pretty good idea who it might be and are waiting for DNA confirmation before releasing a name. In Humboldt County, Sierra Ferguson, News Channel 3.